When I'd get home from City Council anywhere from 8.30 to 11.30, I'd take out the garbage. And it's like for once, I'm like, nope, I don't have to do that. For 16 years. It's been nice to have some time back. White Bear Lake native Dan Jones has sat at the White Bear Lake Dios standing firm on his beliefs. You ask me my opinion, I will tell it. Even if you don't ask me, I might tell it. He says there were plenty of disagreements along the way. I mean, Bill Walsh is a person that we probably disagreed more than we agreed. But always respect. And yet I will come back to Bill Walsh and call him my friend. Because again, I always knew where he stood. He spoke his mind. You knew he was coming, and you knew why. With two meetings a month, as well as workshops and service on other boards. But my problem with this to the council is that this was a hot mess. Jones has dedicated countless hours to the council and acknowledged time away from family as he attended his last meeting. When I was first elected, you were 8, 10, and 12. The formative teenager years, the terrifying years. His wife Sally, his I mother Jane, and his three daughters Kayla, Emma, and Sam reacting to his emotional farewell. And you knew what I was doing was important. Thank you for that understanding. And more to me than you'll ever know. And I love you so much that it hurts. He looks like a really tough guy, but he's got such a sweet heart. It's like you wouldn't, you would never know by looking at him. Yeah, sorry we didn't make it to more meetings, Dad. Just the first and the last, and maybe <laughs> a few in between. But we, we're doing the best we can. He's never missed any Yeah, of I don't my remember events. him missing anything. He when did. he said that, no. I was shocked. Oh. I do oh. remember as him being on the phone a lot with Brian. I feel like oh, every I got to call Brian. <laughs> Brian and I were elected the same year. Didn't know each other from Adam. But strangely, we became fast, fast friends and kind of like the odd couple, really. We had so many conversations over that period because there were some big issues back then. We had the YMCA expansion. Um, the Volt Works was a big, big project for us. I know he's going to do well. He's, got, um, he's outgoing. He's ambitious. Um, I wish him the best luck at the Historical Society. And um, he's going to do well. I know he is. For those who know Jones, they know his heart is as great as his height. I'm a 300-pound man puddle. And though he seems tailor-made for the role of Santa. Who's eating Santa's cookies? I'm sharing them. His emotional side can seem incongruent to his stature. And sincerely, and I mean this, an honor and uh, a pleasure to represent the city of White Bear Lake. His love for his community rivaled only by the love for his family. So I'm going to try to keep it in check. Those two loves united in the most intimate way when his daughter Kayla was hit by a truck and critically injured in 2016. We're lucky to have her and, and that's thanks to the community. Jones saw countless projects fulfilled during his tenure. I wanted to make sure that the new public safety building got done and I wanted to make sure that South Shore Boulevard got done. Noting the job wasn't always fun. I have to vote when the person has come up and I'm saying, I'm going to sh take your house. That happened three times. And I have to look at them and go, no, I disagree with you. And they're there talking right in front of you. Uh, how many times does that happen at the state and federal level? It's difficult. He was known for being firm but fair, a combination not lost upon his colleagues. You've always been fair with people. You've been direct and sometimes blunt, but you will own the blunt when you've been blunt, you own it. Many past and present city staff and officials attending his last meeting. This is what's special about the councils that I've been on. And we've got ex-staff, new staff, new council members, old council members, three city managers, three ex-mayors. I mean, these people are have what made our city what it is for almost 40 years. Jones may be gone from council, but will remain present in the community. Santa's here, we're gonna read some books. Working for the Historical because Society and leaving his door open to advising future generations interested in serving. You have to know who came before you. You have to respect the people that are gonna come after you because it's now it's their turn. It's time for me 
to help in the community, but it's not my job to make those decisions. We need more people to get involved at every level. Ms. West, congratulations. That seat up there is all yours now. Mm -hmm. Take care of it and thank you for your service. And now, Council, for the first time, I get to go home and eat cake. <laughs>